This is the road that they closed up because it's full of water now. It's whole, basically a whole ass river. They closed up the highway. They made everyone late for their morning shits. And yeah, it's basically very sunny right now. It's full of water. They give swimming pool to everyone for free. But with that hot fucking heat to coming towards the water, everyone got a free jacuzzi, if you know what I'm saying. I'm almost home, but the traffic is jammed up because of the water. So there's, there's no radio for copyright reasons, so I'm just gonna sing for you real quick. Making my way downtown with my bitch. She's gonna make me a sandwich. Da -da! I'm kidding, I have no bitches. Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening. This is Kush, your weatherman for the day. And today we're gonna go over the past 72 hours, things that happen in Dubai. Cars, uh, f f swimming, uh, people getting swimming, free swimming pools inside their houses, flights delayed, roads cracking down, expensive cars underwater. Basically, Dubai became aqua world. Hello, how are you? I am under the water. Please help me. Here too much raining. <laughs> and as you can see, the weather is back to being Jahannam after a day, literally like nothing happened. It's all sunny out there. Nothing. There's no more clouds. The lucky ones got to experience the ultimate water park experience inside an airplane. The losers got their flights delayed. The rich got a free jacuzzi installed in their car because, you know, the future is here. The fish started taking the roads. They started identifying themselves as humans. The tourists who came here for a few days of sun, few days of tanning and vacation were punching the walls after this heavy rain took place. I mean, they didn't get to experience the sun, but they got to experience a zombie land. And here's a wholesome video that's gonna make you cry of this cat stuck in rain trying to fight for his life, getting rescued by Dubai police. God knows the amount of animals that lost their lives, honestly. I'll, if I had like a bigger car, I was sending a message to my mom as well after she sent me this video. I was telling her, if I had, okay, one of my goal, dream goal cars is a Raptor. Ford Raptor, F-150 Raptor, 2018, 2019, or 20. That's the car that I want, two and a half doors. And I said, if I had, if I had that car, I would literally be on the roads. I would be rescuing cats and dogs, whatever I find, putting, uh, putting them on the trunk and just, you know, dipping and just finding more, uh, more. Fuck the people. Let the people drown. I literally do, don't give two shits. I see a cat. I see a human. Come here, cat. Sorry, human. You are too heavy. No space for you. Next. But well, unfortunately, I have a very low car. It's a Lexus IS350F. And I cannot, I can literally not do anything. Last time I took my car out, I made a video about it. If you've been following this channel, you know what I'm talking about? That I took the car in the rain, 6 a.m. in the morning. My engine blew up. My transmission blew up. And basically, I had to sell one of my kidneys to be able to afford a new engine and new transmission. I've been sitting at home for the past three, four days, not even looking outside. You know, now it's cool, but there's still like a lot of, uh, rivers all over the country right now. So don't get fooled by this sunny light and see, oh, everything is cool now. There's still a lot of rivers out there. And the country is, the governments are working on fixing it. How do they fix this? Basically, the drainage system over here, because it barely freaking rains, they don't have one. Like, it's a very small one, and it gets, like, overflown very easily. So they will bring trucks from outside and they will be sucking in the water sucking in everything with hundreds hundreds if not thousands of trucks all across the country working 24 7 just to make the city and the country run again <laughs> this is a place in charge this is not dubai this is like around the area that i live in and it's basically a whole swimming pool of cars imagine wanting to go at work in the morning because they gave you like two days off, but you still got to work today since it's a sunny day, right? It will be a good investment to get one of those air boats, you know, air bubble boats, whatever. Then you go to your car, then you put it in your trunk and it's like a scooter, basically. <laughs> but let me show you another scary ass picture of uh, this is Sharjah. This is the city next to Dubai. This is the place I live in. Straight up, imagine you pass this and all the lights are off and these cars, bro, this looks like the apocalypse. This is dead ass scary if you're passing by like at 4 or 5 a.m. No one on the road. And apparently Elon Musk is jumping up and down because Teslas are the only cars who can go through this because water does not go inside the engine or exhaust because there is no exhaust. The exhaust is just there for 
design and the whole electric car is run by battery so nothing will happen to it right everything is sealed until your electric car starts doing updates in the middle of the road and you are locked inside the car and you cannot go anywhere <laughs> Honestly, she's doing the best solution in this situation is to start panicking, crying, and start filming the whole situation. Give a whole death message before you go down. And speaking about death, the toll has come up to like in Oman, not even because it rained all over GCC. The death toll was only in Oman, which is another country next to UAE. It's like at 18 right now because towards like that side, towards like the mountains and everything that's there it gets more insane it starts fucking raining ice cubes now what happens when your house is flooded your neighborhood is flooded and you are too rich you have a lot of free time and you have a couple of jet skis sitting in your yard what do you do It's all fun and games until the water fucking lowers and it becomes too concrete or there's a rock under you or a, something under you and you're gonna be flying up in the air. And a Ram TRX tried to do the same thing that a Tesla does with all the ego, everything he has. He tries to go through it because he has a big car. Why not? Let me try it and just prove every, everything wrong and come out the other side and look cool. Well, not only he didn't look cool, he almost died and people had to break the glass. So. <laughs> so he had to come out. I'm glad he's okay, but it's okay. Bubba's gonna buy buy him another car. Not only that, the family homes were ruined as well. A lot of people, especially in the, the villa places that they were living in. Why? Because, you know, the house is not really built for covering up the rain. I also had a very small leak from my window in an apartment. Usually apartments were fine. And if you're wondering if people's insurances cover their losses, usually the houses will be fine. They'll be covered by some, especially in these, uh, you know, communities. If your house is like fucking 60 years old, you live in no community, then I guess the government can help you if you are kind of connected. If not, then they will just take the water and the things can be, you have to replace it yourself. Now, when it comes to the cars, we've seen Rolls Royces, fucking expensive ass cars abandoned because the engine exploded or they went on the water and just, they just had to leave it on the side of the road. What's going to happen to the, the cars? How are the owners can recover from this? Well, most insurances do not cover rain expenses or they tell you, do you want to cover rent expenses for like 20, 30% increase in the price? And they're going to say no, because it barely rains in the UAE, like once or twice max. This was the biggest rain, like I said, in the past 75 years. Even my car, I went to the insurance and they were not covering it. That's why I, t I sold one of my kidneys. So by the end of this week, all the garages are going to be rolling in with their own Rolls Royces with the amount of work that they have with fixing these cars. Especially, you know, if the car is like brand new, I think you can get away with it by the showroom. You'll pay a fee and they'll cover it for you. But the normal cars like seven eight years old you probably have to take it to the garage and you have to pay by your own money to fix it not only houses and cars but also shopping malls that were all flooded as well there was things everywhere but they're very quick with the employees over there they were very quick with cleaning things up and turning things in back to normal within a day it's still gonna take more time with the roads you know my area is kind of clear right now but in dubai there's a lot of bridges that it's filled with water. Hopefully, they'll, it'll be over very, very quick. So when it comes for me to leave my man cave once a month, I will be fine to do so. And Sheikh Mohammed, the ruler of UAE, the president of UAE, the Sheikh of Abu Dhabi, he said, he made a statement. He said that things will be covered, you know, will be helping as much as we can. And we're going to put more research into the cloud settings that they usually do. So they'll try to avoid this from happening again. There is still no death tolls. I don't think there's any in the Dubai or Abu Dhabi or Sharjah or anywhere like in the UAE. Or maybe there is a few, but they try to keep it low key. This doesn't reach the news and all. And I'm not going to talk about it further. I'm not going to investigate it at all because I like to stay in this country and not get deported. So moral of the story is if you live in the UAE and it rains, stay home. If you have a sedan, especially if you have a big car or a jet ski, go out, enjoy your sh 
you enjoy yourself but yeah some of you asked me to cover this whole dubai flood thing just wanted to talk about it take care of yourself i will see you at the next one